Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes Yeah, I've got an itchy thing Oh, oh that's better Chair yeah. So, for those that haven't listened to this before, uh, well, not this, uh, not this exact recording, because you couldn't have done unless you have. But afterwards, you know, after it's been recorded, that is. So, in the future, you may say, "Well, yeah, I've listened to it three times," but. I mean now, uh, on the 18th of December 2019 is the date. For those that haven't ever listened to me, uh, hello, <laughs> that's it really. Um, I do do other podcasts. Here we go again, Jason promoting himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's useful to know because um just in case you find this just so interesting. Um I've got other sleep podcasts as well. So I've got uh Deep Sleep Whisper hypnosis and it's uh, I don't know, it's nearly 200 of those recordings uh, and they they average about usually 20 minutes plus per recording and I just whisper but they're, not, they're nothing like these recordings that I'm doing now they are very much focused on sleep like I talk or rather whisper about sleeping deeply and you know like this and now go to sleep go on go to sleep now go to sleep now now go to sleep yeah five four three two one you're sleeping kind of a bit like that yeah um Imagine if anyone would ever listen again, would they? If I did it like that, now, go to sleep, go to bl- bloody go to sleep. So another one is sleep hypnosis weekly, which is um, generally they are longer recordings, a half an hour plus. Some of them are an hour, but at least half an hour. They're not whispers; they're just me talking. But softly, of course. But then I always talk softly. Uh, I realised a few years ago that shouting into someone's ear isn't that relaxing. It's relaxing for me doing it, but it's not quite as therapeutically uh, sleepy-inducing as you may think. Although... There are some people where that would work for them. And I know that's, you know, the case. Because we're all different. But I can't... I can't cater for everybody. I'd love to. But can he do it? Love to be able to... Do a podcast or make a recording that would be the... The ultimate... um, solution you know for everybody and everyone anyone in the whole world who sl- who listened to it regardless of the language they spoke you know wherever they were in the world um regardless of their age and they just fall asleep 
like really quickly and I don't have that which is why I have about 1200 recordings which is quite a lot really but it took me 14 years to do it so it's not like I've just suddenly pooed out lots of recordings it's, it's taken a while and some people have asked me so why do you why don't you just make one recording and some and these these aren't people that listen to me by the way these this would be like friends or family or just people that are that don't know or they've got they don't know not they don't know any better but they don't sort of understand kind of what I'm doing or why I'm doing it and that they they would see possibly in the shops over the years now online you'd see one recording for a specific issue so Paul um, McKenna he'll have one relaxation CD for sleeping or for relaxation or for positivity and I have a book with it as well uh, but I think you can buy his audios I'm sure he used to be able to buy his audios separate uh, like CDs and stuff and then you just listen to that over and over and it'd be one recording so I, I don't yeah I've listened to recordings over and over again and there is value in that I, I, I found value in that I've got to remember I can't, not, can't, can't speak for other people can we there is value in that it's like I'm now pronouncing the the whole world's attitude towards it yes it's almost like Fraggle Rock isn't it like the trash heap has spoken that's it I've had the final word on, on this matter so I realised or I thought that well I, I used to listen to this recording it was a relaxation recording it was guided relaxation on and it was back in 19 no it's, yeah 1999 end of 1999 slash the beginning of 2000 and I'd listened to this recording it lasted for about 37 minutes I think I listened to it every day maybe it lasted longer or less maybe it was 26 minutes but I listened to it every day And it's some, it was lovely. It had beautiful music. It was uh, this American lady talking, beautiful soft voice. And it was guided walking into a forest, and and there was a lake, and you know that kind of stuff. And I wanted to hear something different after a while I kind of wanted to I don't know I thought it's almost like well we have had a lovely holiday you've been a wonderful travelling companion perhaps we should go to a different destination next time so it's yeah just I still sure what was her name something Merrill not Meryl Streep but it was yeah she's a lovely voice so very professional you know not like my stuff you know she it was all pro you could hear it was done in a recording studio and it was just perfect the sound levels and all that stuff and original music 
because I'm not a musician so I, I if I could make my own music then I would I'd probably I'd be doing some more recordings like some sleep and um, relaxation sessions with my own background music and I have thought about it maybe getting a, a keyboard in the future um, not, not, not like a computer keyboard I mean a one that makes noises rather than just tapping sounds and I thought it'd be nice to possibly do that but I uh, don't know because I said one of the things that I find is I get caught up in stuff sometimes so I might get a keyboard and then all my focus goes upon that rather than the reason behind doing that so you know I'm only doing the music part in order to make recordings but then I might get too caught up in the music side of things and um, get distracted which can well can it does definitely happen with the website side of things because last week or two I've had this new website and I've been updating it trying to make it better by putting the podcasts links to the different podcasts that the episode's on and it's taken absolutely forever I mean literally I've got on my website I've got the let me bore you to sleep recordings, all of the deep sleep whisper hypnosis ones, all of the sleep hypnosis weekly ones and all of the relaxation for stress and anxiety ones. So they're they're all on my podcast, but they're all on my website rather, jasonnewland.com. So they're all there. And on each um episode that you click on there is you know you can stream it for free so I've got an embedded player from Spreaker on the website so you can just stream it and play it or you can download it or you can download it on the website for free just directly to your computer or your laptop or your tablet or your phone or your ring piece I don't know whatever in the you might have a ring because you've got watches, haven't we? Um, like with the eye watch and stuff. So I reckon it'll be it won't be long before there's a ring that people will wear, and uh, that's not a bad idea, is it? Because you think a ring is kind of quite a good size to have, um, like a data, you know those. Um, flash files the you know with stores storage all your files and stuff but ring you could have that and that could have like 10 ter- terabytes worth of stuff on there and then whatever computer or phone that you're working with it automatically streams it from that ring I've just invented something that would make me a billionaire and someone else will use that and I won't get anything and I'll be still living to be fair I'm I'm okay but I think being a billionaire would be quite nice I just think how, how cool would it be to be able to just help everybody pretty much you know, just to be able to say, to find out people's real intentions as well. Find out if people are just like making stuff up or if they really are what they say they are. So if someone's, uh, you know, like begging for money or something. So I know there's quite a few people begging. 
it's, it's not for the newspapers, but I just know the people that aren't homeless, you know. But so I kind of like to go up and say, okay, I'll put you up in a hotel. And then did I have to say, well, I don't want a hotel because I've got somewhere to live. I want the money. No money. You've got a hotel, though. But I do want it. I want the money. Imagine how cool it would be just to be able to go up to someone and say, pack your, pack your bags. If there's anything that you want, you know, that you want to take with you. Um, you've now got a new home. Or just say to them, where do you want to live? Anywhere in the country, where do you want to live? And then just give, just take them there. Give them the keys to a flat. Buy the flat. Just give it to them. There you go. You now live here. Well, don't give them the key. Just give them the keys. Own the flat. Just don't charge any rent. That way, they're never going to lose their home. So there you go. You can live there. Just pay your bills. I'd actually employ somebody that would... I'd kind of have my own... Because you've got a thing here in England, uh, which is... Uh, we have a, like a housing... Council houses, social housing. I know that there's that you got that pretty much everywhere. I think in the world, but uh, I don't know that much about it in other countries. Although I have seen, I love documentaries about. You know, some people like documentaries about wildlife and animals and stuff. I quite like documentaries about humans. And especially things to do with social housing and that, that kind of stuff I don't know why I just find it fascinating and seeing someone succeed you know seeing someone go from being um, homeless to getting the keys to their flat or to their new home which is affordable and I don't know, something really feel goody about that, I, I find. So I feel I'd like to get lots of different flats. So if I was a billionaire, I'd have, I'd be able to buy, I mean, I'd be able to buy a flat every day of the year, probably a hundred every day of the year, all around the country. So I'd buy the flats get them made up nice, you know, get them redecorated, new kitchen, everything like that. And I make sure the electric and the gas, everything, all the bills are paid for a year, for the first year. And also make sure they had a food delivery for the first year as well. So I find out what they like to eat and have that delivered once a week for a year, just to get themselves on their feet. And a few pound get a little bit of money spending money just while they get themselves uh, benefits sorted and stuff so maybe uh, give them a couple of thousand pound or something just to sort of keep them going uh, until they get their benefits paid and I'd, I'd employ someone to do that to have someone that that was their full time job to manage that to um, make sure that the people were okay to look after people make sure so everybody that moved in these places they got free counselling so they had a counselling service offered a therapy service offered um, any help with other issues social issues that they have they'd get free education so I'd pay for education courses 
going to university, charges, all that stuff. So these people would get an opportunity to rebuild their life in the way that they want to. If they don't want to go to university or college or anything like that, then don't, you know, it's up to them. But that would, it would be an option. And all they'd have to do is ask, or they'd have someone that dealt with them. They'll dealt with them, I deal with you. Have someone that, you know, looked after them. And I think what I'd like to do is the only bit I'd like would be to just go up to people in the streets, just travel around a little bit, like once a week or something, just go around and just with a a what's it, you know, some kind of minivan or whatever. And just pick them up, basically. Just those of you that want to change your life, come with me and put them up in a, I don't know, maybe a hotel just for the first couple of nights until they're organised where they want to go. We'll just get them to sit down and say, Look, so, okay, where do you want to go? I'd rent out a coffee shop. I'd say, when you're closed at six, I want to rent this out for the evening. Just leave a member, of, just pay a member of staff. I'd give them treble their hourly wage or whatever, and a big hug. And they can all come in, and I'd just sit them all down and say, so where do you want to live? What part of the country do you want to live? And just ask them what it is they need. I'd have a private doctor as well, sort of for each area, so I'd pay for that private doctor. Don't think I'm a billionaire so I can afford this stuff, it's, it's, you know, it's very affordable for me in this situ- in this situation I'm talking about. So I'd have a private doctor which who travelled, so they would go to the different areas and in an emergency they'd go to so they did cover maybe a couple of towns so they wouldn't be travelling long distances but sort of maybe half an hour at the most but they'd they'd be within that area and they'd be on call so maybe have two different doctors that are both on call so they take over from each other what else could I have then what I think I would be good to do is to have I could have some businesses that were run by them so as part of the process they work one day a week uh, or they volunteer one day a week in what kind of shop could it be oh no I'd do I'd go because you, you've got to go against the flow haven't you I'd just I would open bookshops so a billionaire of course again of I would open big big bookshops like the old style bookshops that are kind of unfortunately becoming dinosaurs yeah and I'd also this is what I'd also do I would open comedy clubs all over the country where people could just be comedians and um, and this is my own idea by the way this is how it used to be in America in the 50s and 60s even late 40s there used to be uh, cafes where people used to go I don't know if it's kind of like a Hollywood area but people used to go and do comedy in these places and there were small clubs they got paid very little if anything 
but they learnt their trade and oh, I'd have loved to have I'm mean, not you know I kind of love to have been around then but then I'd be 90 now so that you know there's a flip side isn't there but uh, just the idea of being able to have met Lenny Bruce and uh, George Carlin and Rodney Dangerfield and some of those you know the ones even earlier than them the ones that were about long before them it was just I mean it was basically it was like Vaudeville 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 or Vaudeville um, but in just much smaller venues where no one had any nobody had no money it was after the, the second um the second war to end all wars and not the first war to end all wars but the second war to end all wars and it was there was oh it'd be so cool so that's because in London when I first moved back to London because I was born in London I keep forgetting that I was born in Enfield North London and Edmonton or Enf yeah, Enfield and I was there for the first I don't know two, two years of my life so I don't know can you talk by the age of two I don't know oh God, this is embarrassing this is totally true I hardly ever see my family you know twice a year sometimes once a year um, with the like brothers, sisters, nieces and stuff and my niece or my sisters had three kids so she's got two daughters, one son. There's quite a few. It's a, it's a good eight years between the first child and the other two. And so one of them, the the, the two little ones, are about two years old now. And I thought that she was the older one because she looked exactly the same to me. And I forgot that she was now 10. So I thought the two year old was the 10 year old. And I was calling her by her name. And my dad was saying, No, but she's not here. I said, What do you mean? She's, she's sitting on your lap. She said, I said No, she's, she's gone out there. She's gone to get the coffees. I looked over I said no that's my nan she said no that's not your nan that's, that's your, your niece I was getting so confused so uh, you know what I did earlier I tipped I had a, a pile of not a pile of plates it was, it's an exaggeration I had a couple of plates Um I don't know if you can hear that it's Andre in the back in the kitchen trying to knock down the bin he can't help himself I'd love to know what's going on in his little head <laughs> he's oh you know what I did right I was talking to my friend a little while ago not today I think I just bashed the microphone sorry about that not today but it was um, yeah probably a couple of weeks ago and I don't think he visits very often because I, I think I send him to sleep when I talk uh, it's weird that 
that's why I never talk to the bus driver ever <laughs> never um, what was it Ra was it Rachel said uh, sent me a message saying you know I should never be a driving instructor that would be a dangerous job to do and also let's have a look I'm quoting but I'm, I want to quote the right people I'm just going to go into the uh, the fast book where are you uh, you know I want to say actually a big thank you to a particular person actually or two particular people Um let me have a look. Let me have a look. Okay. On my website where is it? In my on my website I had a couple of video reviews yesterday. And One was from Natalie Merkley and one was from Molly. So, and I'm reading out the names, but these are the names that are actually on the public website, so I'm not kind of revealing anything. Yeah, that's not, I'm not kind of revealing secrets or anything. But, <laughs> secrets? But this was yesterday because the 18th day these were sent yesterday so I'm looking forward to more and I was a proper good feeling came from this um, so you go to my website and just click on the review the reviews page reviews and both Molly and Natalie um, posted videos saying some really kind things and now this this might seem weird, but I'm never ever getting rid of this website ever again because I want to watch those videos every now and then because it lifts my spirits. It really does. It it actually I felt almost special, but not in a way that I was told when I was at school. Jason, you are very special. That's why you need to be in this this special class. No, I don't mean like that. I mean, almost feels that what I'm. Andre. <coughs> Sorry, I mean to bash your head on the thing. I've got Andre in my arms now. I'll give him a little cuddle. It felt. You're gonna say hello to all your friends. I'm listening. You're gonna say something. You're gonna make a funny noise. <laughs> how you how you doing, mate? Are you all right? Are you all right? Are you okay? Oh, there you go. Mind your face. Um. Yeah. See, I, I love reading things that people have written. That's this. You know, it's lovely. Seeing a video or like hearing someone's voice is. I don't know. It's kind of on a different level of I don't know I mean, I've had video reviews in the past that I've lost unfortunately but because this is uh, that was that was in the days we didn't have the technology that we've got now 
for websites where you could like upload your own video so now I'm paying ten dollars a month to offer this service for people to upload videos uh, like reviews and for me to have it on my website and after having a few videos, I've had four videos now and the, the two I'm talking about are from yesterday but it's like wow okay I actually feel like what I'm doing means something no, I didn't. I, di I didn't feel it didn't before. It just, it. It's like a little, I don't know, pick me up, I suppose. So, a definitely huge thank you to Natalie and Molly for yesterday. Thank you to Bethany Maria for the day before, and also Rachel first. Innis, Heather Joe, and Amy Naylor and Megan Jackson who left um, reviews but they're both in the same place both in the same area so I wonder if they're the same person trying to get that amazing prize that I'm giving <laughs> but uh, Amy Naylor says very peaceful. I struggled to find a sleep podcast that would work for me, but I found it in this one. And that's for the that was on the actual product review, so that's a hundred and number hundred and sixty nine Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. And Megan Jackson on exactly the same podcast episode hundred and sixty nine Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. I sleep much better now. It used to take hours for me to get to sleep as I'd constantly be thinking about things but with this podcast I can finally sleep straight away it makes me feel at peace and I highly recommend so thank you I mean it could be that you're both those people living together or something they're, they're listening um, it just seems but it, even if it is the same person pretending up different names which I doubt it but even if it was makes no difference because both are going to go in I could call a bluff though couldn't I say oh you're both one what's the address <laughs> well it's the same address and then I've got Heather Joe, who sent a video and Rachel first that sent a video Rachel also she posted two actually she posted uh the first time she posted, she wasn't able to do a video. It didn't, um, but then she she managed to do it later on. And she says, "Listening to Jason's podcasts really helps me. I really struggle with sleep, and even he doesn't bore me to sleep. Even if he doesn't bore me to sleep, he's good company. I did try to upload a video, but I don't think it went through. And then she did post one a video." And it brill brill blog. It says, "Thank you for what you're doing. You're a wonderful help to so many people. I miss and worry about you." Oh, I miss and worry about you if you don't upload. But I understand you have a life too. Loved hearing about Andre and the ferret. Ah, uh, Andre the ferret too. And she put a video of her cat, which is also talked over the video. Um, Innis, uh, the wonderful amazing Innes who's someone that I've known for a, since I was a very young man since I was 20 1991 I've known Innes and she's an amazing amazing woman uh, she says amazing oh she's put amazing brilliant and soothing best of all a free service thank you Jason so she's she's one of the few friends my real life friends that I've got on Facebook and uh, Bethany Maria has written the best put sleep casts ever Jason's let me bore you to sleep podcast has really transformed the way I sleep at night 
I used to lie there for hours trying and failing to switch my brain off whereas now I put Jason on and listen to his soothing voice and happily fall asleep while he chats away this is amazing as I've struggled with sleep and switching off my brain for years and Jason oh, so I'll read it properly and Jason really helps me to get rest at night I really appreciate Jason's services and recommend him to everyone who has problems sleeping I've tried th hundreds of things like Jason's podcasts in the past and nothing works like his an amazing service and an amazing man behind it too I mean, how beautiful is that I mean there was no video with that but the words are like wow that's just that's why I don't um, I don't make up my own reviews like you know like some I'm not saying other people do but I don't I wouldn't know how to do it really I don't think I'm necessarily very complimentary and um, not like horrible but I just I don't I don't I'm not very good at fakeness it, does that make sense sort of I could tell someone like for example there's there's someone on my Facebook called Eric Schmunchkin and he's uh, I don't know what, how to explain it he's one of the most beautiful men you could have as a Facebook friend simply be, he he writes he writes stuff and it's almost like you can feel it you can feel the words he genuinely has love in his heart for other people that he's not even met and I suppose he's a little bit like me just in the sense that he wouldn't write it unless he meant it he means what he says and but he's got more nice things to say than I have as far as like writing stuff down fuck that bloody ferret Andre will you shut up he's basically running in and out of different carrier bags and he's getting caught in the carrier bags so he's running around It's almost like what's he looking for? Is he looking for himself? Oh, now he and he's got a little yellow ball which has got a little bell inside it. He's looking for something. I don't know what. I wish I had a video of this I could show it to you so he's playing he's got this little yellow ball which has got slots in it and it's got a bell in it so when he moves it around it makes a I don't know if you can hear it it's very quiet but he uh, It's almost like you know with cats you know when they've got the little toy mouses or the ball and he's doing that stuff but it's almost like he's 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 knocking the ball but then he's looking for the cause of the sound 
the cause of the bells he doesn't realize it's inside the ball so he's looking for it in the bags <laughs> man he's such a strange one anyway yeah so this I don't know what I was talking about but yeah um, it's really nice to have to, to see a video of someone who genuinely is uh, benefiting from what I do because you know I'm a human being I have doubts I I know that what I do isn't going to be for everybody, although the audience figures are growing. Um, so it's... I don't know how it's going to end up, but it's... You know, it's... it's I suppose the only way that the audience figures will drop is if I stop doing it, I suppose. But even then, there's so many episodes I could stop doing it for a month and I'd still be getting over a thousand maybe fifteen two two thousand downloads a day even if I didn't produce any anything new just based on the amount of recordings that I've got um, but anyway that's the, the main the main point the main point is I just wanted to say thank you. Heather Joes put a video and she says, Care and soothing, Jason shows a kind soul. And it's quite weird because I sometimes think, imagine if I could think of myself in that way. So I'm going to go to my page so there's a couple of people I really want to say thank you to I want to say a big thank you to Natalie Merkley so uh, not just for making the video but for, for sharing so Natalie thank you for sharing my posts on Facebook and if anyone's on here that does, you know, see my posts on Facebook, if you would like to share my stuff. Then, you know, that would be brilliant. Just let other people sort of see what I'm up to. And what's the other thing I was going to say? Um... I want to do a shout out to two give me two seconds and I'll tell you who so I've got um, so Rachel Elizabeth is that Rachel first is that the same Rachel which will explain why it didn't come up on Facebook when I made a, a post put in your name and she, she wrote earlier today no yesterday at 23.59 I just had a really funny thought if you were to have a party and all the guests are people who listen to your sleep podcasts as soon as you start talking we'll all be asleep could turn out to be a great party for you. I don't know if it would be a it'd be I suppose I could then just steal all your jewellery, couldn't I? <laughs> I don't know. I like that would be weird though, wouldn't it? I don't know if it would be especially if you're used to hearing me and you associate that with falling asleep it would be wow yeah 
see I I I actually saw someone I used to listen to these Buddhist um, talks from someone that um, was kind of the head of the Buddhist organization I, I was involved with and he came to town and he did a, a talk so I, of course I went along jumped at the chance went along but I'd spent a few years listening to him laying down on my bed with my eyes closed and that's how I listened to stuff always not necessarily always laying down but when I'm listening I have my eyes closed and that's what I did there I, and also I used to fall asleep because if I lay down and I have my eyes closed I'm pretty much going to fall asleep yeah even if I'm sitting in a chair with my eyes closed there's a good chance I'm going to fall asleep it's the eyes closed bit and the focusing bit and I was focusing on his voice but I associated his voice I didn't realise at the time but I associated his voice with very deep relaxation and drifting off to sleep and I did drift off a couple of times and I do snore a bit so I'm pretty sure I made some rather startling sounds <laughs> at different points during his presentation as I you know suddenly woke up looking around wondering where am I oh yeah I'm here so who else have I got what other messages have I had lately um Oh, it's ages ago, it's ten days ago. So the the website's coming along. As I said, I've got this I've now done hundred and forty eight I'm now on one hundred and forty eight, let me bore you to sleep. Um, number hundred and forty eight as far as putting in because what I've done is for each page there's you can download it, you can stream it free download it for free and then underneath I've got a list of places where you can download it or where you can stream it so for example listen to 148 let me bore you to sleep Jason Newland 13th of May 2019 see May 2019 148 wow I'm now 279 I think or well, this might be 280 no anyway which means wow you know what that means look at the, at the date there's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 10, so that'd be 290, 91, 92, 93. So the 1st of January, I could be on 294. And if I do do one every day, that's 365 plus 294. 365, 465, 565, 655, 356, 
57, 58, 59, 300, no, 350, 365, 465, 565, 6, yeah, be over 600, maybe, wow. I imagine what it's going to be like when I want to hit the thousand mark. I like to have these little um, bench presses where I get to uh, a particular number. I do like that. It, it does feel quite nice. So you know, with the oh come on, what are you doing? So with the Spreaker, let's go back. Where are you? So Spreaker, Spreaker, Spreaker. So I've got the statistics, but I'm not going to read all the statistics out. But so far, since the November the 21st, 2018, so it's less than 13 months, so one year and just less than a, a year, a month, I've got 618,395 downloads, 21,527 total plays. So I'm looking forward to reaching the hundred thousand, not the hundred thousand, the million. So I'm hoping by Easter next year, sort of April time, I can reach the million da total downloads. Because I'm going to feel wonderful when that happens. So that'll be good. And then hopefully hit the, the 2 million by the end of the year but we'll see but just to reach the million because I've never had a never had a podcast or YouTube channel or anything like that that has reached a million just on that you know one podcast or that one not that one podcast but that one service because um, obviously I've got a few podcasts here see it's not bad already since it's 7.21 in the morning and I've had 922 downloads and it basically that's in the last 5 hours because it starts about 2 o'clock in the morning yesterday I had 3,349 downloads 33 plays and the day before I mean I did put some extra re relaxation recordings onto the one of the podcasts, so that's pretty much why. But I had five thousand and twelve downloads and twenty six plays. And the deep sleep whisper hypnosis podcast. I've now got 109,520. The hypnosis for sleeping deeply is 123,728. The Let Me Bore You to Sleep podcast, this one, 82,522. Relaxation, hypnosis for stress and anxiety, fifty six thousand five hundred no fifty six thousand three hundred and sixty one. The sleep hypnosis weekly is thirty five thousand eight hundred and sixty five. And lastly, 
uh, sleep insomnia hypnosis 112,902 but none of the others now, some of them are okay so I've got sleep hypnosis with music 13,096 and that gets uh, it's kind of you know it's okay it's it's steady but I haven't released a new one uh, since the 8th of um, October so the last one I uploaded has had 1060 downloads there was a time when the Fall asleep counting sheep was getting quite a bit of uh, interest, but not anymore, <laughs> which is fine. That's only a five day course, so what I've won is the 28 day stop smoking hypnosis course 11,277. So that's kind of got a regular, it's not a huge amount of people, but it's regular, like traffic. There's only, there's four episodes plus the Stop Smoking and Start Living recording that I did, which is uh, basically the four, the four week course condensed into one recording. I edited it. What other ones are around that mark? I suppose the only other one is a relaxation hypnosis. That's 12,000, 12,531. But again, it kind of chops and changes and and the next one, the last one really is the Jason Newland Free Hypnosis Service, 18,912. And I think because I've got the podcast on my website, it does get like regular traffic, but not probably quite a few, yeah, quite a few plays, but not a lot, not huge amounts, but it's 18,912. So that's it. Because I always put like new recordings on there, upload them. They get a few plays and listens. So I'm going to go. I'm sure there was a there was something I was talking about earlier, but I forgot what it was. So I wish you all well. Have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, and I will speak to you tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself. Because you do deserve to be happy. You do deserve to be happy. And also maybe during the day. This coming day. Notice what things. Trigger a sense of well-being. Notice certain times that you feel good, maybe for no reason, just you feel you feel like physical pleasure. And if you'd like to leave a video message uh, review, please do because I love I love to watch it. So take care. Speak soon. Lots of love. Bye.